think they'd be too uh, mad about that, or wouldn't they not care? If we edited off the Beluga Heights and the Jason and all that stuff, well, I mean, if you don't tell them, I won't tell them. Seriously, we just, we just pretend that we didn't do it. So you, you do it and not even let them know about it. Huh. I mean, here's the thing. The one that comes at the end of the song, the one that's the new song where it goes, you think the song's over, and that comes on and goes, Beluga Heights. If, seriously, you can cut that one off and no one would miss it. No one would know. That'd be fun. I mean, how many people stay and listen to the credits at the, at the end of a movie, right? Why do we have to listen to the credits at the end of a song? Get them out. <laughs> Get them out of there. A lot of the good feeling is, you know, should he release another album, they won't, they won't do that. I guess, they, I guess they're just trying to establish themselves as a brand, you know? Is it that way on the album? You know, I'm never going to listen to the album, so I can't really, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a top 40 guy, I'm about the singles, I, I know what I like to hear, and it's, uh, I'm never going to listen to the album either, and I was hoping that, you know, hey, maybe Frank will listen to the album. No. <laughs> I mean, Lady Gaga, she sings her name into her songs. I'm okay with that because she's at least singing it, you know? And it sounds different each time. It's not like they just took the exact same sound and played it on more than one song. I mean, come on. At least, I don't mind if you say the words, but at least sing them to the new tune. Seriously, get them out of there. <laughs> Talking to you, Jason. Starting at 2.1, your number one hit music station. Train coming up after Jay Sean. That's a good song right there. Which one, Train or Jay Sean or both? Uh, what's coming on right now? Jay Sean? Yeah. All right, so tell me the, uh, the about Alcoa here. I'm, I'm looking at they got a Chinese restaurant. Is that any good? Yeah, Peking is really good. Peking, all right. Uh, what do you get there? Well, me and my folks, we only go for the whole all-you-can-eat buffet. We never gone through the menu. All right. Well, when you go to the all-you-can-eat buffet, I mean, is it like uh, what do you get? What's the first thing you go for? The orange chicken. My son, that's all he cares about is the orange. Sure. Chicken. There's that and that's whole sweet and sour chicken and uh, e egg rolls. Uh huh. Yeah, last week he and I went to a, a food court in Nashville, right? Uh huh. And I called my wife. I said, "Oh, you'd be so proud of Frank Jr." He looked at all of the choices before settling on the orange chicken. Because <laughs> 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 that's all I ever had. It's always the orange chicken. It's interesting because I've never really been a fan of real food. I just never had. Yeah. When I went to a food court, they had Japanese. I had this chicken, and it was absolutely amazing. Bourbon chicken? Tried, what they had? I think it was bourbon. I don't, I don't know exactly uh, what it was, but all I know is I was walking towards, I think it was like Chick-fil-A or something. I was walking towards Chick-fil-A, and this guy's like, here, try this. So I was like, all right. I was like, wow, you sold, sold me, dude. Yeah. So... The only thing I don't see myself eating that's Asian food is cat and dog. Right. Well, they don't call it that. Here, I'm pretty sure they come up with another another term for it, right? I don't know. I mean, they're not gonna call it cat on the menu. You know, they're gonna they're gonna find something clever to call it. You know, like right. mushu. Yeah, to get get people to actually eat stuff. <laughs> I don't know. You probably don't want to know. There's like, there's there's kids them serving that here. Is that okay? I think they get caught. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, <I> mean, <laughs> The old joke is that you, uh, from this neighborhood in D.C. where I used to live, that there was a uh, Chinese restaurant that had one of those doggy doors in the back, uh -huh. but it only worked one way. <laughs> it was in, and then it, they, once they go in, they don't come out. Yeah. But it's probably, if they, if they call cat and dog a different name, it's probably best not to know then. Yeah, no, they wouldn't sell it in this country, because they got, because chicken is so plentiful, why bother, you know? Yeah. It's, it's cheaper and easier just to serve chicken. Hang on a second, my sales manager's here, I gotta go. Uh, there you go. Take care of that. Hello. Hey, Frank. I'm 
What's your name? I work at the the property. Uh-huh. Can you tell me about this station? Uh, I really like your music. <laughs> and Beyonce's pregnant. I did hear that this morning. You did? Well, then you were listening. Yes. To our station. Yes. Our little, what, we had a contest this morning to win some concert tickets. Do you remember that? Yeah, I switched back and forth between all of you guys. Really, I did. Uh-huh. I did. I'm not lying. I did. Okay. <laughs> I'm just quizzing you. I'm trying to test you. I like all kinds of music. Uh-huh. What, what would it take? What would it take to get you to stay with our station and not switch? Oh God! Okay, Bobby, I don't know because I really, uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Because if I give you this, you know, there's no going back. It shows you're loyal. It shows that you're a star one, a two fun one, loyalist. That's what this shows. This means no more frogs. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let me come win a prize. Come on in. You can't win anyone. 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 You can't